darlings, I hope you're all alright and keeping safe and taking care of yourselves. Back for another react. And we've got another get ready with me. Well, it's an eating get ready with me because she can multitask, you see. She's a very special person, very skilled. So it's a mukbang and get ready with me. I don't know where she's going, but I suspect I know. I don't know if you've been keeping abreast of the latest goss. But apparently, she's been spotted in the reflection of uh, Nada's barbecue. I mean, there's some real sleuths about. Um, some real Sherlock Holmes. I mean, it's getting a bit MI6, this. You know what I mean? This is not the Cold War. Let's not go looking for people in barbecue reflections. The thing is, she's going to tell us. She's going to spill the beans anyway. You know what she's like? She's got a gob the size of bleeding whales. At some point, she's not going to be able to help herself. You know what she's like? And she's going to spew it all out. She's going to get either as high as a kite or angry or both. And she's going to order a load of grub. She's going to sit there, eat it, slap her chops and tell us all about her reuniting with old Nada, old Romeo from Egypt, our, our very own pharaoh. Pharaoh of the Nile, but anyway, well, denial. Um, so let's not do the investigations, you know. It's just it's just a waste of your energy. You could finish off that ironing or something, you know, something useful. Anyway, uh, <laughs> oh, I do like a bit of goss, don't you? It gets you all tintillated. Let's get on with this, um, this uh, uh, reaction and stop guessing. Well... I should be saying that to myself, really, not to all of you. Here goes. So, she's back in a room. It's looking still a mess, but <laughs> still looks like a bomb's it. Uh, she's got one of her pussies. Oh, we've got the other one this time. And we're getting ready for a hot date. Let's go. I'm just eating my lunch. Are you up? How many lunches? One or two? Hey, Golden Girl! I should have turned it down a bit now. Oh, yeah. Mary Brown's chicken. Lovely. Mac salad. Oh, that looks like bleeding baby food. Bubbly. Smashing. <sighs> My laundry's still drying. Is it? Oh, you've done some washing, have you? You found the washing machine. So I'm like, you know what? Let's go mad. Let's throw caution to the wind and let's do some washing. Let's pick some uh, clothes up off this dirty floor and let's do some washing. You know how to live, you do. Other people jump on aeroplanes and go to Paris for the weekend for a romantic interlude. No, not you. You put some washing in the washing machine. Jesus Christ. You'd think she'd found the cure for cancer the way she carries on. The last time I washed my bedding, mm. well, let's just say it's due. Do we need to send it to a laboratory and do a bit of testing? Do, do the arche archaeologists need to do that ring thing on it? Jesus Christ, you dirty Mary. <sighs> oh! What's happened? Has your gravy gone down the road the wrong way? That's there. It's for dipping, not for sipping. Hi, Mia. It's like King Henry VIII, isn't she sat there? So once you don't throw the bones over her shoulder. I'm just trying to show you the food. We can see the food. We can see the food when it's in your mouth, even because it's going around. It's like a washing machine. Like dem demolition derby, a gob round that bleeding poor old chicken's leg. Or chicken's wing, whatever it was. <coughs> God, she's full of noises yeah. this morning. Mm. 
Mm. Have you mutilated it enough? Is that it? I need a napkin. You need a napkin. Use Wait, your bed sheet. Or, what? or your shirt. What? Wipe her hands on. Alright, time to shower and get my laundry. How does doing this help you lose weight? <coughs> Excuse me. It doesn't. So perhaps we shouldn't do it, eh? How about that? Although I haven't gained. Well, that's all right. You know, as long as you're a steady massive. Uh, yours have really gone down. Does it bother you? It bothers your handbag, doesn't it? Honestly, I don't. I really haven't just stopped to really pay attention to it. So oh, really please. Yet. You haven't stopped. What do you mean? You, you make out that you're dashing about like a frenzied emu. You don't do fuck all. You've got plenty of time to notice everything. <coughs> if my views are down, I guess. All I can do is try to bring them up again. Mm. But. If. I yeah. can. Which means. That's amazing, Sarah Jane. Good for you. The Ozempic you're on, eh? Which means... Yeah. New Beezers will come. Well, it just means that I have to, like... Put some know, effort in. Maybe it's just a sign I have to do some content, that's all. I mean, God. I prefer... She needs a sign from God. She needs God to write her a letter. You know, post it through a letterbox. To tell her she needs to do some work for a bleeding channel this is not even my job this is my hobby and i tell you this when i'm doing a six day week at work i feel terrible i think oh my god i've put nothing on my channel for ages what will people think about me i worry i do and it's a hobby and she doesn't give a flying fuck and it's her bleeding means of sustaining herself just turning on the camera and just beating myself but I guess I'll just have to put more effort. Yeah, you need to put some more E in your B. I actually, which I can do. You could. Do have to turn your battery on Please first? Please go look at the farms to really see what you look like. Rosemead, honestly, does it not disturb you that people, like, analyze what my body looks like? Like, in body shame me? I don't care. What do you mean they analyzed your body? your body you put your bits and pieces out there for the perusal of people you want people to look at your bits and pieces you're always jangling them about trying to draw attention to them don't make them out to be the odd ones because they look at your body parts or your body as a whole when you are taking bleeding photos of your flange and putting it out there don't you think that's weird don't you think it's weird that you're always talking about other people's body parts? You're turning into a pervert. I've seen the pictures on the farms. I've seen, I've googled my... I thought you didn't look at the farms or any reaction channels. Myself. I don't care. Yes, you do, you liar. I liar. love myself. I love my body. Oh, yes, I never you do. Used to. You absolutely adore yourself. Don't talk out your bloody ass. And you know what? All the hate has made me love myself more. Oh, bullshit. So it's made me more confident in who I am as a person. It's made me accept every single flaw because you've laughed at like every single thing bad about myself. So what's more? What are you going to say about me that's going to offend me more? Nothing. You're full of shit. You hate yourself. You've got no self-respect. And you've got no self-confidence. That's why you live like a little bloody hermit. You hate your body. You hate everything about it. You know you do. So don't come here with your flannel to me. When it comes to being overweight and unhappy with 
my my own weight. I've been there, done it, and bought the T-shirt. There's not a diet. There's not a crash uh, diet. Um, fad sport. Um, nuance of weight loss, weight gain, or um, wrestling with one's weight that you can mention that I don't already know and have been through. I bought the T-shirt, wore, wore it, put it in the washing machine and bought it. Been there, done it and everything. I've been upset and worried and struggling with my weight since I was a kid. I mean, I didn't actually have a weight problem when I was a kid and a teenager. I just thought I did because I had low self-esteem and low confidence in myself. But from the early 20s, 23, 24, I started gaining weight due to a very unhappy relationship. That was the start of it. And I went through the whole gamut. That's why I'm, I'm in a good position to talk about you because I've done it all. I can, I'm not phased by you and your bullshit. I can see through the lies, the deceit, the, ma the uh, manipulations, the bullshit. I can see through it all. Because I've been there myself. I've made the same uh, lies and manipulations and excuses myself. Been there, done it and everything. So don't come here telling me that you're happy with yourself. Because you wouldn't be living the way you do if you were happy with yourself. This, all this mess, not washing yourself physically, not washing your home, keeping it clean, living in this filthy environment is a symptom of how you feel about yourself. So don't make out that you're quite happy and confident and happy with your life because you're not far from it. Hey, this is the new black. Hey, everyone. Oh, Welcome to the report. Just be. There. I don't even pay attention to that anyway when people make fun of me. Honestly, if you don't pay attention to it, then why is it that things that you've read and seen on reaction channels and on Kiwi Farms and a multitude of other social media platforms, why does it seep into your speech when you're talking to your um, fanatical friends and subscribers and members when you're doing your live streams? I've heard phrases and words come out of your mouth that I know for a fact that you got from a reactor. You can hear it. You watch them all intently. And you know you do. I bet you spend all day just flicking through one platform, one reactor to another. Stop telling lies. Sometimes I go to the farms for a laugh at myself. Oh, I bet you do. I bet you do. <clears throat> Some of the fucking memes that people make about me are hilarious well some of the things are hilarious they are funny <laughs> i'm particularly funny that's why you need to subscribe to and me i honestly love you that i can you know? and give you a laugh you should care chantelle you can't travel bees okay but what you said earlier rosemead has nothing to do with comfort you said you should go to the farms to see what you really look like what does that have to do with comfort although yes i mean because you would see truly how you appear to the rest of the world because you're living in a denial bubble and you don't see yourself how you truly are not just your, your physicality but the things that you say the way that you think and the way that, that you live your life you're constantly making excuses for yourself you live in a denial bubble bubble you won't face reality and that is what hurts you you're hurting yourself and yeah, I want to be more comfortable. That's the main reason I want to lose weight, is to be comfortable. Absolutely. But. And not in agony, because I guarantee you, this gal here is in agony with her legs. I mean, you know, it, it, your knees especially, they're just, you get to a certain age and and your knees really start playing up. I mean, mine were grumbling in my 30s. But as soon as I hit 40, it went on to a whole new level. That's why I'm glad I lost 20 pounds last year and dropped a dress size because it's really took the pressure off my knees. Now I can get about a lot better. Um, I'm not taking paracetamols and ibuprofen like bleeding sweets because I, I was. I was taking them every day. I can sleep better. I can do all sorts of things better. 
I don't, I'm not, I don't let it destroy my existence. I don't worry about it every single day. Oh no, I'm fat. I'm like, no, I'm not going to live like that. Are you That's kidding me? That's a lie. When you're overweight, I mean, I've never been morbidly obese, but I have been obese. I, I, I probably still am classified as being obese. You do think about it every day. It may just be fleetingly, but you do. Because it rules your life. Speaking the truth or having an opinion about you is different than being hateful. Yeah, a lot of people can't differentiate. Sometimes I can't even. I only ask because I worry about your health. Yeah, I do need to make health changes for you sure. You do, you do. You better hurry up and all. You're 39 next birthday. I think some people care how you're doing, but maybe they shouldn't. If I don't care, why do you care? You do care, so stop. Oh, she's just about to say, aren't you? Just kidding, yeah. yeah. I thought that was coming. You don't seem to see what everyone else does. And people worry about you. If everyone sees me judged as judgmental, then no, I don't want to see it that way. <laughs> if everyone looks at me and goes, ew, gross, her body's gross, why would I want to see myself that way? For a wake-up call? I think I can have a wake-up call about my health without people attacking my looks. Don't you think so? Whatever yeah. you want to tell We're all yourself. judgmental, I know. We are. All human beings do it. Some people are not judgmental, though. Like, really not judgmental. BB was like that. BB wasn't not judgmental. He just couldn't be asked with you. He gave up on you. Are you kidding? I have to be with a boyfriend who won't judge me. <laughs> because I'm not the easiest person to be with. Absolutely not. I bet you're not. You want to be with somebody that will do what they're told. Let you get away with blue murder. Someone a bit like your mom, really. You want someone to mother you. There do everything for There's you. There's so many men who love big women, even if they don't there admit is. it. Absolutely. <laughs> Some men don't admit it. <sighs> there is a lid for every pot. Every human being in this world, there's a special somebody out there for you. That's true. You would leave the house and do things. Mostly from my, it's not lack of confidence. It's I hate, I don't like people. Oh, please. It is lack of... I mean, I don't doubt that for a moment that you dislike people because you're quite an antagonistic person, but you don't have any confidence. You When you go out to eat, you're always peering about and watching out to see if somebody's looking at you. Don't give us all that flannel. No, I do like people. It's uh, My anxiety... Anxiety. Oh, oh here we go. So I should go shop. Let me go check my clothes. Put it in the bin. I can still hear them drying. I need my towel. That's why I can't shower. Has she only got one towel? Has she really only got one towel? Who only has one towel? And before anybody says it, yes, I know that there are people in this world that haven't got homes to live in. Now, what I'm saying is, let's be sensible now. Who do you know that has a home, you know, it's just regular folk that only has one towel? You can get a nice bath sheet for a fiver from Asda. Why has she only got one towel? She, it, 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 you know, it never ceases to amaze me. She'll spend hundreds, if not thousands, on edibles and food and other shit that she buys cheap tacky jewellery and god knows what but she hasn't got some of the home essentials she hasn't got i mean i've got a whole airing cupboard full of towels oh my never ceases to amaze me i gotta get my class go on then she walks like a bloody toddler she acts like a toddler she walks like one She's asking Pete if he liked his dindins. I like the wedges. She liked the wedges. 
we could see the way they were revolving around your cake hole. They were on fast spin. Here on the wedges. Well, you can always get fries, but I thought you would like the wedges. He doesn't like change, foodie. You should know that by now. That's probably given him PTSD, having that change, going from fries to bleeding wedges. That's why. Look at... She hasn't even got a washing basket to put them in. Please don't I say know. she's going to dump them there. Tank. Okay? Oh, uh, yes. Did her mother not teach her any housekeeping skills whatsoever? Jesus. That stupid face. Stop wiggling about. Get them bloody clothes folded. Right, bye. Oh, Jesus. Oh, my bloody ring light's <laughs> fallen because of you now, you silly Mary. Oh, my goodness. Oh, Sorry about this, little technical difficulties. Are we there? Oh, knickers, it's gone bye-byes. Oh, well, it'll just have to sort of hang like your fooper. Honestly. Silly Mary. <laughs> I'm going to use some cup of coffee. Yeah. What for? Oh. We'll have to stop for a minute. I've got more technical difficulties here. This silly Mary has affected my... Look! I've got permanent droop on my light. Foodie, you owe me a ring light smashing down on that bloody table. Causing me all upsets. Oh, Bab, what a to-do. I'm sorry about that, folks. God, she's dangerous, that bloody arse of hers. It's like a flipping missile. Anyway, let's get back. Old silly arse. Well, quite literally. Where is it? I'm just eating. Well. Now I've missed it, look. Oh, gone too far forward. Right, there we go. Start again. <laughs> I'm going to use some cup of coffee. Mmm. I hope it's strong. Fully roasted. Looks like the bloody swamp thing, look. Like a boggart. <clears throat> and what's that supposed to do for you, darling? Go on, rub it in. This is so... Yeah. Let's see what the ingredients... Cover them chins. Go on. This is not blackface, okay? This is coffee, mm. face mask. Yeah. And what's it do for you? Is <sighs> it pistachio coffee? So this is coffee, cup of coffee. Mm. And so this has agave syrup, kaolin, glycerin, coffee, talc, vertivert, and vanilla, coriander oil. Oh, lovely. Let's fingers crossed for a miracle then. Hey, Lauren. I'll be right back. Great. Hi. Where's the other pussy? Are you stupid? No, but Thank I can you. give you the name of someone who is. You're the cutest girl I've ever seen. Where? Black bin liner. Did the stain come out of this? I wonder if no. Shit. So she just chucks it to one side. 
Fold it up. No. Put some stain remover on it. Hi. <laughs> poor old puss. <laughs> Don't put him on that bed, he'll get his paws dirty. You guys have to know the dynamic. What dynamic? These are specs. Are they? Brave think brave garments they are. I'm gonna wear these underwear. Oh my god, I look like You look like a boggart. I look like Ricardo Lopez! I don't know who he oh is. Oh my darling. god! Have you had enough attention drawn to you now? Get on with your folding. <laughs> In the actual fuck. Does he go around with coffee masks on and all? Oh my god. Leave God out of it. Not even he can help you. Can you believe this? Look at the fold. Oh, these crap? pants. Mm. I like Leggings. These. Love. They're good for hiking and stuff. Hiking? What do you know about bloody you hiking? Where was the last place that you hiked to? The corner shop. You guys want to go on a hike? Oh, this is the green dress you guys missed, by the way. Mm-hmm. You think I should wear this today? Is it clean? Is it ironed? I've worn it in a little while. Have you not? You like this one. I wear the green dress. I look scary. You are scary. You don't need a mask for that. Scare the fuck out of me. Should I wear the green dress? Wear anything that's clean and tidy. What do you Look think it. about that? Look at the way she folded it. Oh, I'll, I'll tell you. Or I'll, I have the black one. I'm a black is more... Is I'm a very particular person. That is literally giving me anxiety. I need a pill. It's more uh, full of cat hair. <laughs> I thought it just, just smells like the room. Machine. I can't get the smell of the room from uh, Cuba out. Well, what did the room smell of? Foodie beauty. Baby, tell me, does she love you? These? I love these. Do you? These are so comfortable, I swear. You have no idea. They'd have to make up for something by being comfortable, I suppose. The folding's awful. I'm really, I'm getting the jitters here. And then I have these. Uh-huh. Just some black pants-like. Mm-hmm. Just to wear. They're not the most comfortable. No. Oh, my bloody light's gone again. And gone. Back again. Sorry about that. More technical all it is. Just sat there like a pudding. Come on, wake up. Has her batteries run out? I'm gonna shower, shower now. Go on, then. Get I look like super fat right now. <laughs> you do, yes. yes. It is, yes. Oh. Look like a melting candle. Stop agitating it. I'm very, very tummy heavy, heavy eh? Oh, yeah, I'd never that's noticed the most, that's, that's the most dangerous place to have your, your fat. It is, yeah. It's in your abdomen. Oh, Jesus. Do you have to uncover it? But this... Yeah. ...is a scar. Is it? That's the, um, the, the scar, scar from, from my hysterectomy. hysterectomy. Oh, I thought that's where they plugged you in. There's a... There's a hole. Hmm. I bet it's full of lint. This is my body. It is, kid. you got to do something about it. No, no my, my belly button is here. Like here? Right. And then, and then I have, have this. 
Oh, you have two holes. You're like a bowling that? ball. <laughs> I've made my lamp fall again. Oh, knickers to it. I can't be asked. If I've gone a bit dark, I've gone a bit dark. All right. So, so I'm going to wear clothes. This, this, and this. Well, they're knickers, you know, so they're not really the outfit. Excuse me. I'm, I'm going to go shower. shower. Okay. Go on then. Have you got your brush? Your loofah? Is she, are you scared of going oh, in that yeah. bathroom? Is that what it is? She's scared of water. Hi. I gotta brush my teeth too. Mm. Okay, we're gonna take a long shower because you know me. I'm quick. Yeah, you are quick. I'm talented. Oh, talented. I'll wash my beanie. My, my summer beanie? Mm-hmm. I like this one. It's very light. Yeah. Just black, plain, matches everything. Yeah. Lovely. Bye, guys. Can't wait. Leave. All right, I'll stay here then. Oh, she's back. You really work quick. I'm just sitting down to get dressed. Ah, yeah. Oh, Jesus. That poor old. Oh, that felt good. Did it? How yeah. long were you in there? Five minutes? Hope you didn't miss anywhere. Nice hot shower shave. Mm hmm. Shower shave, yeah. Okay. <sighs> Jesus, what's she doing to work out? You're only putting your knickers on. Not having, Not having to buy shampoo, shampoo like wet. Mm hmm I still, I still use it on my scalp, but yeah. I can also just use my body wash. Mm-hmm. It is. We're going to cause something one day. Yeah, some poor bloke's going to have a head-on collision with it. An accident. I don't know what. <laughs> uh, I have some skins in the dryer. Mm-hmm. So. You're going to contain it, are you? You're going to put it locked behind like a boundary. I've got my bow there. Come over here for one sec. Have you? Uh, I won't excuse you. Why would I eat fried chicken? chicken? Uh, Jesus. Please, God. You ordered it. It's it's real fried chicken is the worst thing to eat. Is it really? On Friday night. But you ate it though, didn't you? The feeling's right on a Friday night. Just eating. Right. The feeling's right on a Friday night. Boots to booty. Remember that song? Are those orbs or flies? She she got ghosts in that um in that bedroom of hers. I keep noticing. I don't know if you're noticing. I thought at first there were flies. I think they're orbs. 
You haven't been on a Ouija board, have you? Is that, you know, the spiritual essence of all the little demonic entities that live in your house, live in your body? She needs to get exercised. But well, I feel like I have. Um, have what? The skins. Mm-hmm. Wait. Let me try this. Bathing suit. Mm-hmm. For real. Yeah, but a bathing suit's not got any control in it. You need the control, like darling. Space. You need, like, um, the North Korea of knickers, support knickers, to control that thing there. Not bloody swimsuit. It's too elastic. Oh. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, that's made all the difference, that. Fabulous. Did it make much of a difference? No, it didn't. Because it's a swimsuit bottom. Not control underwear. <laughs> Bang. <laughs> What's hilarious? Have you knocked something loose? Woo! Oh, hole in my dress. dress. Oh dear. Haven't you got a brooch or something you could put over there? Although it isn't an unfortunate place right near you, old boobalicious. I can't wear this. Put it in the bin. Although I suppose it'd be all right for bumming round the house in. Are you knackered? You need to sip a little bit. Oh, right. Here's an excuse to strip off oh, and let us see help. all of your bodacious body. She loves stripping off. That's the thing that men like, you know. My husband's the same. As soon as he walks through the door, he's taking his clothes off. I don't think men like being covered, constrained. That's it, throw it to one side. Well, the other dress I want to wear is in the dryer. Right. I think it's only eight. You'll have to, won't you? What are you thinking? I've just sat there. I'm well, I will. What? <laughs> Jesus, everything's a bloody effort. I'm just going to wait. This is like watching Tug of War or something like that. Take too long. We have here Valentino. Right, put plenty of that on. That's a bogey. What are we going to do next? New, New black, black and white, white top. top. Oh. It's on the floor, dirty. I don't, I don't wash, wash every, every part of my body. body. Like, the water, water takes care of some of it. Does it? How much bloody, how big your water tank? Of course, you've got to wash all your bits. You've got to get your scrunchie, get your dove on, and exfoliate yourself. You've got to. Go over every single bit of you. I've got a, a brush, a body brush with a big long handle for all the bits I can't reach. You've got to wash yourself all over. I think she just stands in it and spins round, you know. Like a merry-go-round. Thank you. Hey. Leave your nose alone, digging for bloody holes. Let's get ready. The Vino Positively Radiant Glow Drops. Valentino. Order a what? I'm wearing a wig today. Hey. 
some of you know, baby on my tattoo, my boobs, my decolletage, I should say. A decolletage. My head. That's not a decolletage anyway. That's more like a su suicide bloody mission for any man that dares. All dry looking. I'll shake leave-in conditioner. Leave-in conditioner, that's leave the conditioner with milk, proteins, proteins honey, and fruit. fruit. All that stuff. I say it every time. Start putting my makeup on. Go on then. Do I want to put eyeshadow on? Yes. Put it all on. I don't even know what I'm going to wear. You're wearing that black dress that's drying. I'm just getting ready. I'm not even sure what I'm doing today. How can you get ready for summit if you not doing know what you're doing? Ooh la la. What do you think? Pull them on. See. Anything's better than them bloody cow tangers from the other day. Doing your Joan Crawford. Too fancy? No, wear them. I've ever been a Thank wild apartment. Don't ask yeah, the opinions of these numpties in your chat. These people were quite happy for you to go out with Nada, some of them. You can't trust them. They'll tell you whatever you want to hear. Just shove them on. If, just, just in case. case. Here. Oh, we're doing the eyeshadow now. Go on. Sam. Is that pussy up there? Wait, I'll be fat ass. Pot calling kettle. I love him. That's why I make fun of him. We're using oh, brushes sorry, today. Oh no, we're back to the fingers now. Oh, get that hey, tail man. out of the way. Come on, or else I'll chop it I'm off. Beautiful. I'm back when I do. Yeah. If I nudge my laptop Chevy. screen to think it will knock him off the top. <laughs> Chevy. You're chubby, chubby, right? No. Do oh. you know you're oh. chubby, love? It's okay, yeah, I'm fat too. too. I'm, I'm not saying, saying anything here, I'm just saying. saying. You realize, right? Yeah. I do that. Oh, oh, I'm saying, saying, I'm not saying anything bad, bad. it's just. No, 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 it's okay, it's okay. It's, okay. it's not anything bad, bad really. Is she having a moment? Should we call nurse? Does it mean that I turned down a date with somebody because his name was Bert? It's daft. It could have been Ingle Bert on the date. I'm dating a Bert. I wouldn't want to date anybody called Foodie Beauty. I mean, there's plenty of food, but not so much beauty most of the time. That's where I draw the line. Do you? What but if not at Nada. <laughs> you don't draw the line at Nada, do you? That abusive, um, sexual abusing, nasty piece of work. You don't draw the line at him. But you'll draw the line <gasps> at Bert. If Bert had 12 inches, I would say... Bert. Bert's got the dong. He can get it on. Bert's got the dong. He can get it on. You would know what to do with 12 inches, even if you had it. I would know what to do with 12 inches. Put it down your mouth and shut, shut it's bleeding gassing. Oh, what's she got a Mary Poppins bag for? God, that's massive. You're going to go and burgle some houses with it. And what are you packing for? Floss, I'm talking to you. Dawn, Dawn. Oh, she's talking about Bert's Winky. Shut up about Bert's Winky. 
She's knocking the whole I'm place I'm going this glowish. Yeah. Go on, get your glow on. I hope you're not going to burp like that in front of this lad that you're going to see. We are going on... I'm, I'm just getting, getting ready because I don't, I don't know, know what I'm doing, doing but I'm probably going on a date. Probably, but what if you're not? Or I should say, okay, your definition of date and mine might be very different. Right. Okay. Well, I can see that you're going to take a bag with you, so you're going out with somebody you're going to go around someone's house and you're going to screw them basically so it's a hook up isn't it it's not a date you're not going out to enjoy yourself have a meal have a few drinks a bit of boogieing no you're going to somewhere to get laid i'm just, just saying. saying rando tinder I've been talking, talking yeah, yeah, I mean, I've been talking to this person, but... Come on, tell us the bloody story, then. Starfish beating? You don't need any starfishing. You need to keep your hand on your hate knee and be a good gal. A date with Pete? Is that what You'd have to have it in his bedroom. He doesn't leave them, my little bonus. It's a date with Pete. Pete. With who? Come on, spill beans. It's not with Bert, is it? With the big dinky boo. Ah, He's having a little pluck now. I love a little pluck myself. God, how many hairs have you got on your chin? You got a full beard, you'd be better off shaving it. I had some chin hair there. Well, I didn't think you were plucking moles off. Or warts. Or blackheads. You mean I like your chin hair. Well, no one does. Not even but every single time I say I'm going on a date. Mm -hmm. With somebody, like if I say someone new, there's uh, people on Twitter will just be like, We found the Foodie Beauty's new boyfriend, and it will be a different picture of matter with uh, a different mustache. Is it him that you're going to, to see then tonight? Are you waiting for your instructions? Not so funny, though, is it really? My, My date is lying. I don't think so. I know you guys think I'm just going to ever only be able to ever get at her, but that's not true. Will you leave your nose alone? Will you fall off? Look how I look right now. I know. It's great, isn't it? Hot and sexy, that's what. Hot and sexy? Hot bloody mess. You look like a spilled souffle. You know what? From, From now, now on, on, I'm not sexy. Yeah. I'm not sexy. Okay. Will you stop messing with your nozzle? I'm trying not to make fun of women. Are you not? Okay. Why not? You're turning a new leaf. I want me to be a better person, and it starts with being nice. Doesn't it? Absolutely. we got to do it for ourselves. I always pack, like I said. I always pack and open a bag. I don't want to get stranded. Are you going on a date? Are you going oh, shoplifting? Door G, please just flattering on you. Thank you. It is, it is pretty on her, I must admit. But I prefer her in dark pink. Or even like a purpley pink. Or perhaps, you know, like a real strong cerise. I bet that would look lovely on her. I think she's recording worse. stand up and stretch. Someone's been rude there. I noticed in the chat, this um, chap, Bjorn, I think his name was, asking her to do rude things with her booty. Bjorn, hit me up on OnlyFans, man. 
and she's going to do it by all chance. I wonder how much she'll charge for that. I'd want a million pounds before I put that on public. Oh, she's oh, got a pinky purpley uh, wig on. I quite like this one. I mean, it would have been nice if she'd styled it properly and was a little bit more gentle. Bjorn, hit me up on OnlyFans, man. That's it. Have you puffer? I'm not texting with matter, and that's why. Are you not? <laughs> yes, you I know you guys think that, that but I'm not. <laughs> and we're going to take what you say is the truth, my God. Oh, we've got the back of the chair. Yes, the steam came out of this one. Oh, lovely. You really do need to get yourself a bib, though, you know, oh, Bab. Yeah. Oh, it's like a little, um, a little tea Hi. dress. Actually, I quite like that, Anna, you know. I do. You like it? I do, actually, kid. I do. That's pretty. And it's feminine. Come here, baby. What are you going to give me? Oh, too, too snug. Oh, that's good. No, that fits all right, uh, I think. Are we supposed to believe that you're spending nights with random guys now? Look. Why not? What we're supposed to believe, everybody, is exactly what Foodie tells us. But we're a little bit more clued up on that, aren't we? We know what we believe, and it'll all come out. You watch, you mark my words, darling. She'll be spilling the, be the beans within a week. Won't you, Floss? I'm all ready to go nowhere. Have you not wait? Has he has he not clued you up? Has he not sent you the access? Never share your man. I agree. He's not the man for me. I agree. But you still love him, though, don't you? Look at that puss. Look at that face on there. On there. Hmm. Says a thousand words, doesn't it? That face, that expression. So, so I guess I'm gonna go. Okay, then. Bye bye. Have a nice time. There she is dancing with a ranky. Anyway, um, so what do you think? Do you think she's up to nonsense? I do. I think, I think she's with old uh, Nada. I really do. I've got this feeling in me over is deep inside. I know they're dried up and that, but you know, they still function well just about anyway. So I hope you enjoy that. I'm sorry about the technical difficulties. It was her bouncing on that bloody chair. She sent a a, a, a shock wave through the electricity into my uh, computers and got it all upset. I'm gonna have to get a big roll of sellotape now and sort of squeeze it all back together again until I get paid I can order a new one anyway I'm going to leave you now to digest that and I'll see you soon take care of yourselves you know I love you loads I really do subscribe share me about with abandonment all over the uh, YouTube and the internet I want everybody to know who I am and where to come for for all the gossip about old foodie chops insightful reminisces Valuable opinions, gossip, cheekiness, little quips and jokes and fun times. Anyway, I'm going to go, like I said. <laughs> God, people, people on the end of this watching are saying, for fuck's sake, Lou, shut up. I love you loads and loads. You all know that. I really do. And I'll see you later. Bye. Bye.